Before we add the up and down movement, let's take a moment to review our code. Currently, we use two if statements to check which key was last pressed. Our program will always check for both directions, no matter what. So if our direction is right, we're going to check for left, even if it's impossible for this to be true. This can be fixed by changing this second if statement for an else if statement. This else if statement will only be checked if the condition of the if statement is false. Let's add a second else if statement to check if the up key was pressed. Its code block must decrease the value of next Y by 1. As a result, only one of these code blocks will ever be executed. The program will start by checking the condition of the if statement. If this condition is true, the program won't have to check the two else if statements. If it's false, we'll check the condition of the first else if statement. The condition of the second else if statement will only be checked if the first two conditions are false. Now it's your turn. Replace the second if statement with an else if and add another else if statement to check for the up key.